Whether you've been rocking an ROG laptop or desktop for years now, or you've just been grabbed one of our newest, newly released models, we've actually got a new version of Armor Crate V6, and we're here to help you make the most out of it. Yes, our software team has been hard at work uh, making a bunch of improvements to Armory Crate. And so this is like, this is a major new version, 6.0. I think we're actually on 6.1 already now, but you get the idea. It's been rolling out for a while. Some of you guys may have had this for weeks now, but it is ha has now officially rolled out to everyone. So we wanted to kind of take a look. Um, Armory Crate, for those of you who don't know, is our software that uh, is kind of our one-stop shop controlled software for everything on your PC, right? It is what unlocks a lot of the features of uh, our ROG laptops, motherboards, our peripherals like mice and keyboards, right? It manages your RGB lighting, which mine is telling me my mouse is low on battery because I haven't charged it in like two weeks. Um, <laughs> the But the other thing it does um, is, is that, uh, especially on laptops, it's kind of essential to the, the operation of the machine, right? Because hmm. the operating modes like silent mode, performance mode, turbo mode, a lot of people don't realize that those aren't just fan curves, right? Those also determine the TGP of your graphics chip and things like that. So um, there are some functions in there that are really useful and that if, you, um, and if you're not using them, you're not necessarily like kind of making the most of your machine and getting the best battery life or using the muck switch, all of that kind of stuff. So I want to start by just taking a look at the latest version. We're going to use Jake's desktop as, as our first example. Yeah. We'll look at laptops in a little bit. The first thing you will notice is the brand new look. Um, it's a bit sleeker, a little bit less like visually busy while still packing a lot of information into that one main window. Um, you've got like your CPU and GPU clocks up there. You've got all of your temperatures, your uh, fan, uh, fan speeds, usage, all of those kinds of stuff, even voltages, if that's something that you're into, all in that one area on the right. On the left, kind of where Jake's mouse is, it's going to show you the kind of the main device that you're using. So on a laptop, it'll show you the laptop model, like Strix Scar 18 or whatever. On a custom built desktop, it's going to show your motherboard because that's kind of like the heart of the machine, right? Um, and below that, you'll see you have your, all your other devices. So Jake's got a keyboard, a mouse, a graphics card here. You can click view all right there to see all of your connected devices and get kind of quick access to any specific device settings. So you know, if Jake's like, oh, I want to change the animation on my CPU cooler, he can just go straight there from, from that little menu. Yeah, see, pretty there good. You go. Yeah, easy. Now, on the left, um, you have your sidebar where you can access Armory Crate's other features. Now, um, I want to stop there and talk about that for a minute. Um, we're not going to go super in depth to all of this stuff today. We may have some Armory Crate guides coming out in the future today. I kind of want to just do a general overview of what's new. And one of the biggest things that's new is is kind of this list of features in this in the sidebar. Um, besides the visual overhaul, our team has has tried to address with this latest version one of the most common pieces of feedback that we see, which is that you guys want Armory Crate to use fewer system resources. Um, so this version six is built to use less CPU, less memory, um, to only run background processes as necessary, uh, all that good stuff that you guys wanted, right? And and Armory Crate has always been somewhat modular. Um, it doesn't download everything it needs when you first install it, right? That's why when you plug in a, a keyboard, RBG, RG keyboard for the first time or, or upgrade your graphics card to an ROG graphics card, um, it won't necessarily show up in Armory Crate right away because it doesn't have that, that code downloaded for that device. You have to go to your updates, check for updates, and then it will download the module for that specific piece of hardware. Mm -hmm. um, with version six, they have made it even more modular. A lot of the big Armory Crate features you see in that sidebar will not be installed by default. So instead, when you first install Armory Crate, you're going to be presented with this window. We call this the feature library. And from here, you can choose which of these larger modules to install. So the playground module features things like um, Aura Sync RGB effects and Anime Vision if your laptop or motherboard or whatever has that feature. Um, those are going to be all be in playground. Assistant has a lot of the system management stuff. Um, so stuff like scenario profiles, where you can automate certain settings based on the game you launch, um, macros if you want to create shortcuts, game visual if you're on a laptop that changes like the, the different color modes of your screen, um, things like fan expert if you're on a supported desktop PC that lets you change your, your fan speeds and, and create your own custom fan curves. Um, if you choose to manage your keyboard macros and fan curves through different means, like through a third-party piece of software, or if you um, want to, you know, 
just do your fans through the BIOS of your motherboard and you don't need the stuff in that assistant module, you can uncheck it uh, and Armory Crate will not install those features. Mm -hmm. The content service is where you can get things like ROG wallpapers, I think, um, where you can redeem certain promotions, some stuff like that. And again, you can check it if you want those features or you can uncheck it if you don't. It's that easy when you first install Armory Crate. Now, if you go back to Jake, if you go back to your original window, you'll see that Jake has installed all three modules and they have little subheadings. So you'll see Aura Sync and Anime Vision are under Playground. All the Scenario Profiles, Game Library, Fan Expert, that stuff is under Assistant. But um, if you don't install some of those modules, it will look like... Wrong side. Ah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was really well timed. Um, it'll look like this, right? So you'll see on this example PC that I took the screenshot on, I installed the playground. So I have AuraSync there, but I did not install the assistant or the content modules. And so it just says get started um, under those options in the sidebar. So if you choose not to install those when you first install Armory Crate, that's totally fine. You can get them later if you decide you you want them or you get uh, a piece of hardware that that uses one of those features. You can just click that get started button and download the module that you want easily. So you can always get those um, features at a later date. Now, one thing I have seen some people ask about this new version of Armory Crate is where did all of my shortcuts go? Um, and this is really for, for laptops. So Jake, let's, let's switch to the laptop view. In an effort to simplify this main page, kind of like I talked about earlier, and, and unify it a bit between desktops and laptops to an extent, a lot of the shortcuts that used to exist on that main page for laptops um, have moved. It kind of created a lot of like visual clutter and, and depending on your machine, you'd have to like page through multiple pages of, of stuff to find certain toggles. But those features aren't gone. Um, those were all just shortcuts to features that you could find in Armory Crate. So all of those features are still there where they always were, usually in the device menus, um, and you can still find them there. So uh, one I've seen people talk about, for example, is the MUX switch, right? Um, what we call GPU mode, like ultimate mode, standard, eco mode, all of those GPU modes. Those are still in Armory Crate. They're just not on the main page. You can find them if you click your system settings there, Jake, or if you click devices in the sidebar and choose your laptop. Um, that's where a lot of that stuff is going to live. You'll see some tabs once you yeah, click, click, uh, click on your laptop. You'll see a lot of those tabs along the top. There should be one that says GPU performance. That's where you're going to have um, those MUX switch options so you can switch between ultimate and standard mode there. Um, if you have an Intel laptop and you want to adjust how many P cores and E cores are in use, um, there should be a, uh, a CPU core configuration tab here. It might be under those three dots on the right there, Jake. You might have quite a few tabs here because... No, I see a resource monitor. Nope. Try, try system configuration. Yep, CPU core config. P core, yeah, so e -core. Clicks, you, there you go. So you can adjust your CPU and uh, P cores and E cores there, right? So all of these functions are still there. Um, you'll also have your, you can boot enable up. and disable your Windows key, your touchpad, the boot up sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All that stuff is still in Armory Crate. It has not gone away. You're just going to find it um, on the device tab. It's just going to take an, another click or two to get there um, in an effort to keep things a little bit more. But how easy is that? You just click system settings right on the main page and you're there. It's not a huge problem. And a lot of that stuff, um, so a lot of that stuff, like the boot up sound, like I'll just, like, if I want to turn that off, I'll just keep it off. And then I never have to go back. There. Yeah. I, now, I like the I, new one though. I, These new devices have a new boot up sound. And it's the new nice. boot up sounds are cool. Yeah. But eventually I want to turn them off because otherwise I'll wake my wife up with it <laughs> if I'm like sitting next to her in bed. And she's like, the heck? So um, the other thing worth mentioning is that you can, um, in that device menu, there is a customizable hotkeys tab. Um, and if you click that, uh, you should be able to assign some functions to the customizable buttons on your laptop nice. um, if you want quick access to them. So I know that like those shortcuts on the main page have gone away, but a few of those things might be available via this menu. So you can still get one click access and don't have to, uh, you know, click through all those tabs and mm -hmm. stuff. So. Those are the main things that's, that are new. Like I said, this was going to be a pretty quick overview. I just wanted to like kind of let people know what some of the changes that had been made were. A lot of it is based on the feedback that you guys gave us about what you wanted to see from Armory Crate. Um, if you don't have the new Armory Crate yet, wait, Jake, hold on, go back one sec because I want to show people where they can get it. You can click that settings cog in the bottom uh, left-hand corner there and go to the update center. Oh, we got some new themes too. That's pretty cool. The new white theme is yeah, pretty, we do. pretty sweet. Check for updates here, update everything you see, um, and eventually you should, once you update everything, you should have the new Armory Crate. 
Like I mentioned, we're, we're planning on doing some more in-depth guides to how to use some of these features, right? If we tried to do all of that right now, this would be like a three hour long stream. So yeah. Um, yeah, keep an eye on rog.asus.com and on this channel for more as we kind of start rolling those out. Um, and in the meantime, if you have feedback on the new version of Army Crate, the best place, the best place, this is important, listen up, listen up, the best place to give feedback um, is on the ROG forum. Our team is, our team watches Reddit and things like that, but the ROG forum is probably the most closely monitored by our team and the most the place you're most likely to get a reply. There are dedicated threads for giving feedback, um, instructions for submitting bug reports, things like that. So if you have feedback you want to give on the new Armory Crate, which we appreciate, we want to hear from you guys, yeah. go check out the ROG forum. That is the best place to weigh in on the new version 6. Um, we are always looking to keep improving the app, so that is the best place to do that. All right. That is main topic number one. Main topic number two. What a world. New ROG laptops. I know. Weird show today. New ROG laptops are dropping soon. So for those of you that watch this show regularly, you know we usually cut out our main topic for folks who come to YouTube after the fact. Um, during our full hour-long stream, we usually talk about sales on our gear. We'll talk about what's on shelf that week, things like that. But then we cut that out of the VOD so people aren't scrubbing through like an hour-long stream. Since we have a very special on-shelf announcement today with all the laptops that Jake is holding up right now, I know a lot of people are waiting for that, so I'm bumping it up in the show as kind of a second main topic to include in the VOD for YouTube. New ROG Strix and Zephyrus laptops with NVIDIA 50 series chips will start dropping next week, okay? So, four days. Here's the skinny. Yeah, a couple, like four days. NVIDIA's on-shelf embargo is this Monday, March 31st, and we will officially be shipping some of our new 2025 models on that day. Oh, now, yeah. Inventory is going to be a little bit limited at the beginning, I'm told, um, but the company is going to continue pushing out stock until availability normalizes, so like, keep an eye on retailers in your area. We are going to be starting with models featuring the RTX 5090 and 5080. Um, 5070 okay. Ti models will be coming later, so I think you have a couple examples of some of the laptops we're gonna that are gonna start shipping out, um, like the Strixscar 18, right? This is a, a big one with the RTX 5090. I believe there are the 16 gig RAM model and the 32 gig RAM model are both gonna start shipping next week, and I believe this specific model as well should be in store at Micro Center. So if you have a Micro Center near you, that might be your best bet to get one um, next week since you can actually go to the physical store. A lot of the um, online models, again, are going to be limited availability or um, they're going to be going out to, to pre-orders. Um, if you're looking for something a bit slimmer, sleeker, more portable, um, the Zephyrus G16 will also be shipping next week. Um, once again, we're starting with the RTX 5090 and 5080 models first. So if you, um, if those are the ones that you pre-ordered or those are the ones that you're looking for, there you go. Uh, this, this is the Intel version too um, that I believe is going to start shipping out first. Now, like I mentioned, most um, uh, most of the models that ship out are going to be ones for those of you who placed pre-orders on our site or through retailers like Best Buy, et cetera. Um, I don't want to necessarily guarantee that everyone who pre-ordered is going to get a unit shipped on the 31st. It hmm. may depend on where you are in that pre-order line, like when you pre-ordered and what stock is like for that specific SKU. But um, if you keep an eye on that estimated ship date uh, in your pre-order receipt or whatever, um, that may start fluctuating as new stock comes in. So hopefully if it doesn't ship on the 31st, you'll get an update soon when, when we get that more of those units in, um, and are able to ship them out. We will be replenishing stock as we get it and send it to retailers. So like, just keep checking. We're hoping that stock should catch up throughout the month of April. Um, but it just, it does just depend on what we get from our partners, right? Sometimes this stuff can be a bit fluid, but as of today, March 27th, that is the information I have to offer to you fine folks. In the meantime, if you want to see these laptops in action, well, you can't, you can't see them in action yet on this channel, but soon, soon you should be able to see some of these laptops in action on this channel. So subscribe to ROG on YouTube. Follow us uh, on, on Twitch. Um, Jake streams games here on Tuesdays and Fridays using ROG gear. Right now he's streaming with his... 5080 equipped desktop, but pretty soon we'll have a strict scar model to stream from, maybe a Zephyrus model. Um, 
and stuff like that. So follow, subscribe to see all of that. And of course, you can always tune into this show, ROG Pulse, every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon o'clock Pacific. Um, and if you watch live, there's way more content, including giveaways, ROG Elite points uh, for rewards with us, and more. So join us live to see the full stream.